Some say the world belongs to the 60th generation because they have accumulated world's wealth. Some say the world belongs to the 70th and 80th generation because they have a wealth of experience. Some say the world belongs to the 90th generation because they are carrying the hope for the future. I say this world belongs to men with dreams because dreams give men the power to change the world. Our lives are increasingly being driven by the internet. What is the most serious problem in the internet world? It's not the strength of our competitors, but the inability to identify our competitors. New competitors are using internet strategies to penetrate our market, but we remain unaware. By the time we realize, we may already be one step behind. The most intense competition is borderless competition. Most businesses are overly focused on profit, but new enterprises offer free products and services. We are too busy running a conventional business, unaware of the huge looming threat that could easily be our downfall. A typical case is the rising antivirus software, the 360 software introduction that offered all services at no charge, dramatically shook the entire antivirus software market. WeChat has 700 million active users and is increasing daily posing an aggressive threat to China Mobile, China Telecom, and China Unicom. Yu Yebao received RMB 5.7 billion worth of deposit within 18 days of introduction, grabbing bank clients and creating a mobile internet miracle. Codex demise has been forgotten. Conventional big boys such as Blackberry, Motorola, Nokia, Toshiba, and Sony are lined up to be next. The next record will mark the start of China's new business revolution. All large enterprises will not be exempt from this tsunami. When a fundamental change occurs in people's lifestyle, any business that refuses change will be doomed. Walmart has closed many of its hypermarket branches, once a leading global company. This company is now trying to rise again as they become aware of this crisis. In fact, many big companies should feel worried and pressured despite their apparent stability. Unfortunately, many people still look up to these millionaires, unaware that they are too exhausted and lack of direction as their visions become blurry. Many are still growing, unaware of the reality, no matter how successful a company was. If they continue to be heedless, the flow of wealth will change along, with a change in the consumer experiences, and they may only last a short while before being buried beneath the dust. Borderless companies are not necessarily experienced professionals in their field. These new setups move from industry to industry with unprecedented speed. The walls are breaking down, and borders are increasingly being broken wide. Conventional industries such as advertising, transportation, retails, hospitality, services, medical care, and others are likely to be affected one by one. An economic system that is convenient and holistic is being built. The world will witness a huge difference whereby conventional companies remain focused in their individual industries, while new business models invade businesses across the industries. In the future, will a cafe only sell coffee? Is a hotel only for resting? Will a restaurant only offer food? Is it possible that KFC may become a center of interaction and learning for youth? Is it impossible that a bank's waiting area will house a bookstore? Is it possible for an aircraft cabin to become an international social platform? If you fear to cross this bridge, others will eventually penetrate your market. The next 10 years will see a fight for the control of businesses. Many new talents may potentially rule in every industry. As the flow of data change, the framework of the future, our data thinking will disappear and be replaced with data code. This world will see the dawning of a new era in data streaming and cloud computing. This revolution will rewrite the future of the world we now live in. Are you ready for this new world transformation?